Hey guys, Reese Reviews here. I'm back again with another really good game. Are you ready for really a good review? Cause I, I, me here, nothing, nothing's changed. Good old Reese. Uh, who are you? Sorry, what? And this is my show, Reese Reviews! Here you'll find totally original, wonderful comedic content on wacky outlandish video games. It's totally original! Nobody's ever done this formula before! Look at me! I'm a gamer! I have colorful walls! Look at all this neat gamer swagger in the background! Look! It's a recognizable object from a popular video game! Insert Mario plushie here! Free advertisements! Capitalism! Look at the shot of all the neat stuff on my shelves! Na 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 Chiptune theme song! Na 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 Logo! It's Bob the Builder on computer CD-ROM. It's funny, cause I'm not the intended audience! Ah! Here's the money shot! Whoa! What is this? Am I right? Visual editing gag! Shaking text with humorous yelling! Medium. Hard, hard, hard. Catchphrase! Catchphrase! Funny reaction! Funny reaction! This game is so bad, it's a pain that I have to sit through this. I... I don't even know how to react to this. This is a strange little PC game called Shrek Swamp Fun. I know nothing about this game, so it's gonna be a surprise. Now we all know Shrek. He's had sequels milked dry, and he's been a dank meme for a while. I think I have some sort of idea what this game will be like. Wacky adventures in the fantasy world of Shrek. I mean, what could go wrong? All right, so here we go. We got our company logos in the beginning. Oh look, this game is made by Satan. That joke's not ever done. Whoa, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Oh, uh... Okay, wow, that's... that's pretty chirpy. That's a big one. Oh, come on, how many logos do we need? Alright, so we're finally into the game, and, uh, um, well, we're off to a good start. They actually used the film's soundtrack, so they're on the right path, I guess. Alright, let's do level one. Uh, okay. I'm clicking level one and nothing is happening. Oh, 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 oh wait, oh, okay, these things on the right are the actual levels within these three levels. That's not confusing at all. Alright, well, here we go. Find all the blue things. Look at this photograph. Every time I do makes me laugh. You gotta be pulling my leg with this. It's literally the first click of the game and I met with this monstrosity. I, I mean, what am I even looking at? I just, uh, you know what? There's no more time to waste. I gotta find all the blue things. Um, alright, well, I'm clicking this blue mushroom here, and, uh, nothing's happening. 
Oh, my bad. We actually get to move around in this one. Oh. Okay. Space bar is to jump. Whoa! Got a blue thing. Now what? Oh, oh, oh all right. This game, this game is a platformer. Somehow. Yeah, forget Mario, forget Crash Bandicoot, Shrek's on fun, best platformer. Okay, so you platform around this empty and not so lively side-scroller level and collect the things that the game tells you to collect. There's literally nothing here! What's the challenge? W wait a minute, I have a health bar? What's gonna attack me? Red things? Oh, you thought that was a joke, huh? No, I'm serious. What makes you lose health is collecting the objects you're not supposed to collect. So yeah, the red things. And can we talk about the platforming part of this? When you make a game with platforming in it, your controls and game mechanics need to be tight and well done to make precise jumps. But this is one of those platformers that doesn't even try. You know the one, it's in your head. The one where you jump towards a ledge, and you fall right through the edge. Hey, that rhymed. I'm a poet and didn't even know that I was one. It's a good thing Shrek has a parachute installed inside his body at all times. Alright, I'm gonna try and make this jump. Ooh, ooh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, and by the way, there's no way to die or lose via pitfall. So it begs the question, what is the point of the platforming? Gotta love that soundtrack. Ah, that's music to my ears. God damn it, I gotta go all the way back to get that item. Can't Shrek go any faster? Oh, 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 oh come on, just get the blue thing. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Radish equals healing. Why? Okay, I finally got all the blue things. High score! You know it, I'm at the top of the Shrek Swamp Fun League leaderboards. I didn't add that in. That's the sound it makes when you finish. What is the game trying to convey? Is that Shrek? What's he doing back there? I don't know. We look pretty excited to see Donkey. I'm uncomfortable. I'm moving on. Find all the purple things. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll pass. All right, shapes. Here we go. Find all the squares. Ah, this again? Well, at least the background's different. Find all the squares, eh? Well, at least there's a character in this game that I can identify with. Now that's progressive. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Tell me I don't have to play this at all. Oh, oh come on, get up there! Gah! Somebody won't tell me the world. Uh, let's move later into the game. Maybe there's something new to do there. Find all the differences that equal the number shown in the magic mirror. Math. Math. Math! Shrek Swamp Fun. With early math. Math! Look, they put it real small in the corner so you couldn't notice it. Okay, I get it now. It's a game for kids that's disguised as a fun platforming side-scroller, but under the surface it forces you to learn! How dare you make me learn! Oh, and by the way, this is the whole game. Walk around the level and get the things. And they only use two backgrounds in the whole game. What is this? Oh my, I'm going to react to this strange occurrence in the key of C major. Why did somebody make this? Well, if doing math is what it takes to get around here, I guess I'll take a crack at it. Okay, let's see here. 54 minus 68. Bring over the 1 squared. Uh, ah, screw it. I'm gonna guess. 
Oh, 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 okay, that's unfortunate. This is a game. This is supposed to be enjoyed by individuals. I'm just gonna try the other ones. Find all the sums that equal the number shown in the magic find all right, money. Find all the dimes. See, <laughs> this is a fantastic fairy tale world, and that is just some real ass American coins. I I'd love to imagine that good old George Washington lives in the Shrek universe. And you know, judging by the movies, that's probably not impossible. Ugh, time, numbers, more math, more numbers, more math. Challenge. All right, something different. Give me what you got. Find all the threes. Oh, wonderful. It's just more of the same. Well, I pretty much done everything. That's it. Well, this game is garbage, and I'm proud to be going out this wooden door with pride. Oh yeah, what a fantastical journey that was. Hey Shrek, you remember that time when you jumped really high to reach the odd numbers? Or when you hit too many pennies and then fell asleep? I'm glad we made it through that. That was such a magical adventure. How could it possibly require this many people to make this? Oh, what a crowning achievement for those developers. And now they can brag to their friends like, I made that. I made Shrek Swamp fun. With early math. And can you believe the same developers made sequels to this? Look, this is Shrek Swamp Fun with phonics. Yeah. And judging by the screenshots, there's actually different backgrounds in this game. It's almost like the sequel is actually just the second half of the original game. Why not just put it all in one? And the third one is titled, get this, Shrek Gameland Activity Center. Woo! Sounds like a party! Judging by some of the gameplay footage on YouTube, hey, don't look that riveting. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I guess that's it for Shrek Swamp Fun.